Overcoming is a show that sees us bringing women together in discussion about a challenge that they are either currently going through or have overcome. Basically sharing a pain, holding hands, crying together and healing together. Hoping that this will inspire somebody currently going through tough times. Well, let's see what today's episode has in store for us. Hi, my name is Pamutom Prahosi, the founder of the Botswana Endometriosis Foundation. I've had endometriosis for 10 years. I'm a mother to a 10-year-old boy. I'm an endo warrior. Hi, my name is Aune Lisa Ditira. I'm an endo activist. I'm 22 years old. I was diagnosed with endometriosis when I was 18. So now, how do we have progress with all the efforts that we're making as activists, you know, as warriors mm -hmm. across the world, you know, of course, that with mm -hmm. things that we wish we could see uh, in place. Struggling against this condition, mm -hmm. taking that and comparing it to the greater world, is there progress that we're seeing as far as you know endometriosis uh, is concerned? Well, in our country, I think Christians are Um First of all, because um, Simulaga and the diagnosis, if if our doctors could at least try to na ba diagnosis ba yi reputan, kano tapo na yama kaya mubusi ba kaya ni propis ba tama no hindi talaga tama. Haban na ba kana kiki mo ba diagnosis? Ba ito ko endo is one of the options. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. But back I eliminate the body fibroids and cysts and all that and then everybody wanna put no now we have to check in because this is these fibroids that they use skin hair. Mm -hmm. Um if our doctors could do that and one other thing, medication. Mm -hmm. Um if but again the treatment the one and the outside um come at um no can go to and um, like I was saying, Mama had to come and be when I declared the institution for endometriosis. <laughs> hey, la. imagine! <laughs> or when you have endometriosis with your mind, they were because to manage the condition. Yeah, yeah. This condition, you know, I'm not going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm chronic conditions Dishing. because mm. right now that is not a chronic condition mm. so I'm, I think we are still far but not very far we are getting there mm. do you feel we're doing enough work locally though to create this awareness you know to lobby you know all the relevant parties I think um, socially yeah it like looking at my circle and the people I speak to it is like since we've been doing the walks and stuff, mm. they do understand now. Now mm. I, I have a lot of people coming to me saying, oh, me, I've been having these pains yeah. and like doctors have been saying kitty period pain, but like the more you speak about it, I'm realizing that this could like I have yeah. a friend yeah. who has actually she came to me saying, Oh Nikana I have these problems like I'm like, dude, yeah, mm -hmm. And Honana, like she then found out that she has cancer. Oh no. After all, but dinga kadi mulala ko reno, you know, it's just pure pain. Yeah, like they, you know, they were just lucky that she was lucky that I kept saying, don't, don't let him say that to you. Go to another doctor. Yeah. Find, you know what yeah. I mean. So I think socially, it's mukhaboron. Let's start, like looking at mukhaboron. Mm -hmm. It is a lot better. They do understand. Like how mulala mutokare. I have endo. They're like, wait, do you mean? That thing that was on TV, Malo, yeah. but yeah. you know, it, yeah. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming up. It's slow, but you know, they are realizing that it's something very serious. <laughs> mm. progress. Mm. I was actually been saying this to my sisters the other day. Again. From being a broadcaster, you know, for the last 12 years, mm. I feel I've also gotten to a point now where people call me. Guys, how did we yeah. get there? You know, but then this also means we've gotten people talking, we've gotten people yeah. away. At least the conversation yeah. things. Yeah. 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 It's just that you know, for us to go. Outside. outside gaps, Absolutely. but we do try. Mm. Um, Rab, Kubo Francis Tower, and Maun Palape, we do try with Rabuma Hilonga Hofinyan, but more like she was saying, 
I remember um, two weeks back in the phone it's some company give up sponsorship and I was um like it was a delivery at the moment I eat and we choose that no yeah it's get to the game but give a like I own so it's Absolutely. great when you hear people say they understand they what And speaking of all those efforts, just this very next weekend, Gali 24, it gave an annual march against the endometriosis. Mm -hmm. Can you just quickly tell us a bit about that? Well, um, it will be our annual walk. We'll be walking um, around uh, Main Mall mm -hmm. and then Iberitla Rehileza Muharham Mall or just uh, a few speeches. But we are raising our awareness. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. to understand what endometriosis is. Basketball Chantanya endometriosis lean fertility hair there's mm. more to it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So but when who would like to take part, you know, Badi Rayang, is it open to the general public? Yeah, actually we are inviting everybody. They can go to our Facebook page, um, is the Botswana Endometriosis Foundation. They will get all the information there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also I mentioned what we should touch a bit on uh, you know, because get a little bit about medication. Oh I'm um, I'm on visa, oh Mirena, you know, but what do these things do? From people, so Sanka, you mentioned the fact that endometriosis does not have a cure. Mm -hmm. You know, second of all, what are the treatment options? thing. You know, third of all, for these people now, it has you know gotten them uh, infertile. Is there hope? In such instances, so I think let's just touch on that. I think for like the medication I'm on or mm. was on, I was on the Vizan for two years mm. and then now I've been on the Mirena. Basically what they did, what they're doing is they're, for me, they're balancing out my hormones. Mm. And then, so what progesterone does is it slows down the growth. It doesn't stop it, mm. but it slows it down, which then means it also like my pains aren't as drastic as they were before I was on it. Mm. So it's just the man it's just it's managing the endo that you already have mm. and hoping mm. that it won't go beyond what it is right now. Mm. Yeah. And then the surgery. When I know we're about having six surgeries, I think I'm on my fourth now. So can we talk about what surgery does? Why do we have to keep going back under the knife? Well, um, I think you want to hear about the trial we because mm. Have I completely? I had yeah. my surgery hey. in September. Give way to get another pain in one hand. Yeah, yeah. So it's just hell up on over your hookota because I get it spreads. But I got one over by a hookota highland thing. And um, even the treatment that's a little like I want to was saying, it's just hell up for hookota the growing, yeah, yeah, and endometriosis. And Hansi Tota. But it's a very good pain killers. Yeah, we, no, we, are, we are drug addicts. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. So now for people then who are struggling to conceive because of endometriosis, what options are they? The, the options that exist thinking. I'm going to tell you about you know, your IVFs and you know, so I think yeah. maybe let's just touch quickly on that. Well, um, I don't know if in Botswana we do have IVF. But I know a lot of people go to South, South Africa. Africa. I heard there's yeah. the, the first potential clinic yeah, I yeah. did in Ramalo. Yeah. yeah, but um, I'm not sure if um, the medical aids are paid for oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because I know even in South Africa, but what them buy do well. Yeah. It's yeah. expensive. Has yeah. mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. and you can imagine what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the endometriosis. I'm going to go to the IVF. Yeah. So, I'm going to go to the IVF. One day we will get there, but the option, another option is just as much as um, adoption is also. And, and there's also a surrogacy. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure. We do Absolutely have that. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I think that's just another thing. But anyways, I think, you know, I'd like to commend you ladies for being the activists and the warriors that you are because it's through efforts like these that we see are going to reboot more and more people being aware, more and more people say, Luba na, na kumu kara kwa ala pisa kura batu, mutu kara kwa sandara, kena di, 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 si, chomsa kwa sa, I kena le endo, kore sete nidi nga aka, me hela kwa ne kusipa kura, people are aware of it, do you know what I mean? What, as we wrap up, what would be your message to somebody who just got diagnosed with endometriosis, seeing that we are coping, I don't think we have overcome, 
but we are coping. Okay. That is why we can have such a sober conversation. Even a right here, go to things that we, should, we used to cry <laughs> over, about, right yeah. now we crack up yeah. over. Of course, we've got our days where we just break down, but what would your message be to that person who right now, Ari, this is the end of me, this is the end of, you know, I would tell I think, beyond this. Yeah. Being young and being in this current generation, my, my best advice is to talk. Mm -hmm. you you need the more you talk about something the more somebody tries to understand you know force like I can look at Pumut and be like sort of this is what's going on yeah I'm crying but the more you force people to listen to you the more they they like over time they do empathize mm -hmm. with yeah. you yeah so speaking yeah. especially in this generation what I've seen is they listen mm -hmm. you know that's why I'm saying that socially people are now listening it's, yeah, a, it's yeah. a time where people are very vocal about what's going on with them mm. people they're unapologetic mm. about what who they are and you know so, and challenges yeah. across the board you know yeah. what i mean you'd be amazed at what we see people talking about every day but okay i'm undergoing depression or this is how hey. you know i'm a widow this is what you know what i mean hey. i've been bullied i've lost a mm. child I've, but mm. and i think yeah. like you say it's therapeutic hey. over and above helping the next person we do receive the, the a message on our facebook page mm. and it's about the mother, uh, but we don't so I was recently diagnosed. Can I talk to you? And now, they have a phone and then we meet and talk. Mm -hmm. But they still don't want to join the support group because I feel like we're exposed to shame, shame and stigma. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eish. But anyways, my ladies, yeah. I think it has been fun. You know, it has been a, a very lovely light moment. Sisterhood. Go to Ghana. And so I think there's, you know, which is really what I love also about this overcoming initiative. Mm -hmm. You know, that thing literally also saves a life, I would like yeah. to believe. And with that, I absolutely hope that, you know, through us talking about this, somebody out there who's going through that tough period, you know, who literally at this point does not see a glimmer of hope uh, you know is actually feeling inspired and can see there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel my ladies thank you so much for having joined me I love you and please keep up the great work and keep looking all fab but yeah that is it overcoming endometriosis with my ladies here catch us again next time